What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, I'm gonna talk about how I improved my battery life on my Galaxy Z Fold 3. I made a video um, a few days ago, I don't know, four or five days ago at this point, talking about the battery life of the Galaxy Z Fold 3 and how I was getting about four and a half hours, four hours, somewhere in that range for battery life. A lot of people are saying this, I was wrong. Some people saying I totally agree with you. It was really a mixed bag of emotions for most people. It was a very up and down video in terms of the audience loving it or hating it, agreeing with it, disagreeing with it. I've done, not really changed anything about the phone in terms of improving my battery life, but I myself have personally improved my battery life by about 75% by turning on just one setting or turning off one setting as you would call it. And that one setting we'll get to in a moment, but let's talk about what some of the things that I have turned on, what you would expect, you know, based off what I have. So first of all, I do have dark mode turn on. So I have the dark mode turn on that definitely, and I think everyone can agree, will help with battery life. 5G is turned on on the phone. I did not turn off 5G. 5G is always on unless I go to an area in San Diego that does not have 5G and it'll just automatically change. But still, 5G is always on. I don't touch that. Wi-Fi is always on at my house. When I leave it, it'll automatically turn off. My screen brightness is set to auto brightness. So if I'm in a bright environment, it'll get uh, you know really bright. If I'm in a dark environment, really dark. Uh, right now, it's about, you know, I'm in a mid to mid-tier type brightness, it's probably sitting at about 40% brightness. So auto brightness, you know how it works. You can manually change it yourself a little bit, you know, but ultimately it kind of controls itself. Also with the display, I do have the screen timeout set to two minutes and it's still set to that 120 Hertz on the big display and the small display. Did not change any of that. Volume, when I'm using the volume on the phone, is usually set to max. If it's not max, it's about 75%. Bluetooth is always on. So you can kind of see where I'm going. I didn't really shut anything off, zero, literally nothing. Anything that you would expect to be on either by default with the phone or that I manually turned on is on. Dolby Atmos is on, literally. I have not turned off anything except for one thing. So let's talk about that one thing. Okay, so the feature that I have personally turned off that's improved my battery life about 75% is called improved accuracy. And let's go into that. I'll show you how to turn it off. So swipe down from the top, go into settings. Next, you wanna go into location. Once you're in location, you're gonna see improved accuracy. Tap on that and make sure it's turned off. So you're gonna see Wi-Fi scanning and Bluetooth scanning, you can turn those off. Now you might say, well, what about my GPS? It's not gonna work and my maps aren't gonna work. I've been using it for like this for a handful of days, four or five days, and my blue, the, I've gone into Google Maps. Everything's worked perfectly fine, no issues at all. The only change in my life has been the battery life has improved. And that for me, again, improved my battery life about 75%. I'm not guaranteeing it's gonna work for you, but for me, it did work. So give it a try. If you're having bad battery life and you don't wanna turn off every feature on the phone or half the features or a quarter of the features, and you only wanna turn off this one feature, Turn it off, see if it works for you. If it doesn't, turn it back on. If you have issues with the GPS, turn it back on. I haven't had any issues. Nothing's crashing, nothing's not working. Everything seems to be working fine. It's just my battery life has increased from about four hours and 30 minutes or four hours, all the way up usually between five and a half, five, five and a half hours, all the way up to six hours I've gotten as well. So I'm pretty impressed with it thus far. And I'm happy if I can get about five and a half or six hours of battery life with this phone. Thanks for watching. If you have some battery tips that work for you that don't involve bas basically disabling the phone and making it not be its best, put it in the comments down below. See you guys down the road. Peace.